Hey guys, I'm Jared. I'm your girl Charlotte, and we haven't called you guys potatoes in a while. So, hi, hi potatoes. potatoes. We're not talking to Jim Carter, because he'll get pissed, seriously. Oh, but not Jim Carter. Jim Carter's not a potato. Yeah. So there's reports coming out of New Zealand of just a really big thing that's appeared on a beach and it has a lot of people talking. Now we're referring to it as a thing because there hasn't yet been 100% confirmation as to what it actually is. According to the New Zealand Marine Sciences Society, the object is a piece of driftwood covered in gooseneck barnacles. But again, they have yet to fully confirm what it is. So that's what they're thinking it is. But it's not confirmed. But it's not confirmed. I think it's aliens. It's a sea monster. Realistically, it most likely is what Charlotte said, a piece of driftwood covered in barnacles, but for the sake of just being that guy, what if, maybe, it's actually an alien spaceship and they're coming to take over the world. I mean it's not, but imagine if it was. I don't know if I would go that far. It definitely got people talking. It was originally discovered by a Facebook user by the name of Melissa Doubleday, who posted a photo of the driftwood in a Facebook group that talks about things going on in the community where the object was discovered. So how is this even a possible thing? Well barnacles attach themselves onto things in the ocean, more specifically as larvae or when they're babies, they use a natural biochemical which helps them attach to things like glue. The crazy thing is, this is all done underwater. Glue? Water? That doesn't usually work. Scientists have actually tried to figure out how they stick to things with such a strong hold if they're submerged underwater. And it turns out these barnacles release a natural tiny little drop of oil that clears water from an object and allows the barnacles to get a glue like hold on anything it attaches itself to. After attaching a said thing, in this case the driftwood, they use the water currents and their bodies to filter out food for them to eat and obviously survive. It's just crazy how nature is so good at like being all natural and stuff, you know? So I guess it wasn't an alien spaceship after all, just nature being all nature y. But the weird thing is, the one local who saw the wash up said, It's got a putrid smell when you're downwind, and when you're looking closely, it looks like it's wiggling worms. I mean, yeah, nothing has been confirmed like 100%. So it very well could be aliens, and we may in fact be misinforming our viewers because if it's aliens and they take over the world, the trolls will definitely let us know that we were wrong, mm. even if we're all like, you know, trying to survive like an alien apocalypse, they'll still comment on our video. Yeah, they'll still have, wrong. they'll find a way to tell us that we're wrong. Okay, guys, it's comment time. In the video we did about a woman who tasered her vagina, AnimeBot said, Is IO rivals with another channel that informs people? Uh, like SourceFed, maybe? I don't know, there's this guy named like Scarce and I hate him. Oh yeah, scarce. I don't actually. I love him. I I like look drama up. Drama alert, kind of. Not really. Like what I mean, rivals, because like they don't they know not to come at us because they know that we'll win. Come and at we'll, bro. Rip, I'll, we'll rip them apart. Like bro. We, we could ruin their channel if we want. We're just nice about it. We wouldn't ruin their channel. I'm trying to like start drama. Yeah, come at us. Come at us. Yeah, they're tough. Ivy Radio 2016 said, "Love I O, amazing way to know news." Ivy, you the bomb. You are just a peach. You're my favorite. Please. Mrs. Potato Head said, Charlotte and Jared, are you a couple because you are really sweet together? Uh, that's nice. We're not a couple, but opposites attract, and we are sweet together because we're both actually really bitter people. But then we're not opposites, are we? Angelo J Gaming said, you should make a video of styling Jared's hair. You mean I have to touch it? Uh, it's, it I don't think you guys even want to see it. It's pretty, it's pretty greasy. I'm gonna wash it probably today or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's just gonna keep that on here. Ah, uh, cool. Well, thanks for all your comments as usual. Shall we? Yeah. My name is uh, K Dog, aka Kevin Federline. Uh, my name is L Dog, aka Lil. Lil. Lil Yachty. Lil, 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 Lil Yachty. Bye. I actually kinda like Lil Yachty. Actually, no, I don't. Uh, he's not bad. I can't see what I'm doing. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Alright, bye guys.